What's up? My name is Adam. Before I get started, make sure to go down and hit that uh, subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So yesterday I went and saw Godzilla X Kong at the theaters and let me just start off by saying I did not see Godzilla vs Kong so I was a little lost of where it was but I think I picked up pretty much uh, where it was with some of the things from the movie um, but overall <clears throat> this movie wasn't great um, it had some good scenes in it but overall I thought even the fight scenes were a little lackluster and CGI wasn't great as well. In the movie, you have Rebecca Hall and Dan Stevens were the two main ones from it. And I forgot the other guy's uh, name, but he's in Eternals and he's in something else, but I can only remember him from Eternals. Uh, he was okay, but I thought his character was kind of unneeded. Um, going back to Rebecca Hall, um, she was okay. I usually like her in The Night House, Iron Man 3. I know a lot of people didn't like that movie, but I thought she was good in that. Um, this movie, nothing to write home about really. Um, Dan Stevens, I honestly forgot it was even him. I didn't recognize him until I was looking on IMDb later. And then the um, doctor that Rebecca Hall went to get to help, I feel like she went to get him because he always thought out of the box. But during the movie, I feel like he did not really give any insightful thing that the doctor or Dan Stevens or any of the other characters didn't already know. I feel like they kind of just used him as a com comedic relief. Um, and there was a couple lines he said that were kind of funny, but overall I thought his character was kind of unneeded um, and really just kind of forced in there to get that comedic relief. I know he is in the Godzilla vs. Kong. They kind of alluded to it. Uh, maybe he had a bigger... Um, a bigger role in that and I know they said that he was when you kind of predicted that and that she needed him um, for thinking outside the box um, but other than that I feel like he didn't help much maybe he did I just don't remember because this movie was a little forgettable um what else so one of my favorite uh, there is one scene though in this movie I thought was hilarious I was laughing so hard in my chair no one else in the theater was laughing I thought it was funny maybe I'm just a child I don't know maybe other people don't have a sense of humor but when uh, Kong first got to the unknown world the hollow world um, where the other uh, apes Kongs were living um, I think he was fighting two or three other ones and then one of them was that little child or not the child but the little one that you saw in um, in the trailers so he was fighting them beating them up pretty good and the little one bit his finger he grabbed the little one and started beating the other monkeys with that monkey like it was a boxing glove and then just chunked them across the woods i thought that was hilarious i, I could have rewinded it i would have, would have rewinded three or four times to rewatch that um but i thought that was hilarious the pacing was a little off in this movie sometimes it was like kind of up and go on it um there's a couple scenes that i thought were rushed like really getting Godzilla Kong on the same team they're fighting but also the next thing you know they're fighting together um, to defeat the other uh, apes from going to the real world and destroying it I thought that could have been done a little bit better um, there are some scenes that could have been left off um, overall though I'd probably give this movie a 6 out of 10 6.5 out of 10 rewatchability I'm gonna say low and the only reason I'd rewatch it uh, is for the um, that scene I was just describing with the monkeys and beating them up with the monkey. I thought that was hilarious. Overall, though, it was pretty forgettable. Would I recommend seeing this in theaters? No, unless you're a Godzilla or King Kong fan. Sure, go ahead. Um, I know this review was kind of all over the place. Usually I do like a little, not a script, but I kind of go over what I'm going to talk about. This one, I just wanted to talk about it. Just raw thoughts on the movie. Let me know down let me know though down in the comments what you thought of it if you liked it if you didn't like it did you agree not agree did you think that scene was funny or was it just me i don't know uh, but yeah that's it peace